left video how to destroy another gun in case you can. That's right. We're back once again with some more with some more trucking around. Yep. Yeah. That first load of cottage cheese had to skip our journey. Oh, yep, so Yep, it's only the finest cottage cheese from Italy. You're probably gonna need a bigger turning point, or are you okay? I'm out. Oh, you're, oh, you're fine. <laughs> That's good. I was I was debating that when I backed in there. I was like, am I, am I gonna have enough room? Yeah, I think you will. Plus, you will notice too that we don't have our. Well, wait a minute. Is that your own trailer, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have my aperture trailer. I actually, I actually left that up in Estonia. Yeah. So instead, I got I got one of the company trailers. I think the last Back time I was on the school bus with friend. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Now, also, when we when we come across any roundabouts, if we even do, can we not? go through them and have uh, you on your side. Yes. Well, where's the fun of the cockpit? <laughs> True. I've... I've looked on this route. There may be one once we get into the car. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I'm in my, uh, I'm in my Gran Turismo T, so I guess you'd call it the Grand... Yeah. So I guess you'd call it the Grand T Rismo uh, Scania, which I was using earlier to do a delivery. In fact, uh, probably in this video it'll hit ten thousand miles. I I have eighteen point two on this truck. Yeah, because you use that truck way more. I've used this way more uh, more recently. So mm. I should not hear my road noise. Okay then. I'll do the routine stuff, probably. Okay. That's a little too loud for I like you. Hmm. Strange how it's loud for you, but for me, for some reason, my audio is super quiet. I don't understand why. I don't think I ever adjusted it. Yeah, no, 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 not you. It's 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 just more on my end. Yeah, I'm sure you'll hear when I post it. It's just really weird. It's, you know, it is driving me nuts. Some people are right here. Alright, that's fine. It also gives me a chance to kind of like double check all my stuff and make sure that my sound is doing fine. I sound like an electric. What? Something like a rock game would have. It's the best way to describe it. So it's kind of like a, uh, so it's almost like a feedback sound, eh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. It's so hard be. to see truck noise volume. I'm guessing that's the culprit. There we go. Now I can hear my truck a little better. I'm guessing it's truck and trailer noise. Yeah, probably. At least so now we're rolling. So now we're rolling, okay. Yep. I made no changes to this truck, so that's why Alex is able to pull away a little bit quicker than me. Yeah, so that original engine. Yeah, me too. I haven't done any changes or anything because today, the day that we're recording, uh, was basically doing Coast to Coast, a mod for ATS. Oh, that's way better. Sounds better now? It actually sounds like a real road now. Instead mm -hmm. of an electric high pitch screaming in your ears. Oh, okay, so it went from ACDC to something else. Yeah. It went to normal truck noise. There you go. I could still hear it in the bit. background. But it's not trucking bad. anything is normal. It's anything but normal. <laughs> yeah, especially when the radar says it's just sort of snow, but there's already six inches on the ground. <laughs> Jesus. That happened. That was yep. trucking last. Mm. 
I'm sure you saw the aftermath of that one a lot. Yes, I did. I absolutely did. Take it off here to head up 8-2, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. And it looks like we're going to be doing this in the nighttime again. Well, I guess it's the 8-9. Yeah. You know, it's funny because um, we used to have a, well, I used to have a mod, because uh, you're hosting this server, mm -hmm. but I used to have a day-night mod, mod cycle that was supposed to, like, equalize the day and night time. Mm -hmm. It did the exact opposite. It made, it almost felt like you were, you were trucking in Minecraft. <laughs> Where the nights were long and the days were short. Mm-hmm. So pretty much cool. made it winter. Yeah. Like it actually made it nighttime at 3 p.m. and I'm like, uh, no, it doesn't get doesn't get that nighttime at 3 p.m. I mean, okay, maybe in the Netherlands, maybe in the North Pole, I don't know. Well, I know in the UK that I don't know how accurate this is, but there's that their sun is when they're in school, roughly. Mm. Take that with a grain of salt. Yeah. And Pretty I don't much. know, I talked to from the UK, but I don't know how the north or south they are, so I can't see if that's the whole country or here. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, it's a little tricky to, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, find, or, uh, I, I cannot speak tonight. I'm trying to think of the right word. It's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky uh, to uh, look at the trajectory of it all. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. But yeah, I mean, you know, in the winter time, it always, it, it always gets, you know, nighttime faster. But at the same time, it's almost, it's almost not bad that it gets nighttime quicker. I mean, yeah, yeah daylight savings time is going to be ending here pretty soon. Yeah. But uh, well, that's it. You know, wherever you're watching, it has it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, for the foreign people who don't know what daylight savings time is, every change of the season we uh, we set we set our clocks differently. Mm -hmm. So, when it becomes Easter, we spring forward an hour. So, let's say right now it's six eleven, which it is in real time at the time of recording. That's six eleven Pacific. Uh, it would really be seven eleven if uh, if daylight savings time uh, was was now. And that means you lose an hour. Just sucks. Yeah. However, in the fall, we fall back an hour. So if it was 7.11 now with daylight savings time, when it ended, it would jump back to 6.11. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's a that's kind of what happens. Mess. Yeah, the only one that doesn't have it is Arizona. In Hawaii. Oh, that's right. Hawaii doesn't have it. I totally, I, I totally didn't realize uh -huh. that. Because I... I believe like 99% of the islands don't fall, or 100%. True. I hate to stop your uh, flow of uh, concentration, but uh, are my high beams bothering you? Uh-uh. Okay. If not, it's helping me see my dash a little bit. <clears throat> oh, good, 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 okay. And you're going over here, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're gonna reroute all of Okay. Well, thank goodness I didn't slam into your back end. Yeah, it's so hard. I forgot to do the reroute planning. Mm. Yeah. So now we're just kind of going by the seat of our pants. It should have rerouted you the correct way because I have my pin right here. Well, now it now it's rerouted me. Yeah. It went from 247 miles to go now to 292 miles to go. Uh, we're also taking the very scenic trip. Mm-hmm. We are. A very so, scenic route. Uh, so the first dream I did recording of that to see convoy that you see me in Detroit from the other way up this pass. Yeah, that's right. In fact, I think that was the day I brought my Gifu. No, <laughs> it was during the actual convoy. I'm trucking to Oh, see. that's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. Yeah, and we decided we were going to take an extra load to Barcelona. Yes, we went down to Barcelona, Spain, which, mm -hmm. speaking of Barcelona, uh, I was actually uh, racing at its uh, track, Circuit de Cataluna, on F1 2021 just a few nights mm -hmm. ago. 
Yeah. And I gotta tell you, it's my worst track <laughs> on there. But somehow I started on the pole and mm -hmm. led just about everything. Almost gave it away uh, in turn 11. Mm -hmm. But I ended up winning and beating Lando Norris and Lewis oh, Hamilton. Wow. So, yeah, it was actually pretty good. And I won by about three seconds in the Alpine. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty happy with that. Yeah. You haven't played new games. Yeah. Well, I mean, One you know, night when I got home, I didn't even set up my computer when I got home from school this summer. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> well, because you know, whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, hi. Uh oh, Jesus. Wait. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you, the lights going off in my beers. I'm like, this can't be good. Yeah, no, all of a sudden I just started tipping over, and so I just had to use the wall to help me out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I felt like I was drawing a Reliant Robin for a second. <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, you know, there's there's times when, you know, you could you could game, uh, you know, kind of late at night and stuff. I mean, hell, I remember I, when I used to do TF2, I remember I, I gamed late one night um, and somehow managed to win, to win a round or two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't play TF2 anymore. I'm retired from it, but uh, I do miss it. But at the same time, I don't, I don't miss the uh, abuse it was giving me. More toxicity. Yeah, and also just it was it was screwing around with my with my mental health and everything. It was just more like, you know, the raging was not good and all mm. that jazz. It was, you know, I mean, it was fun, but you know, it wasn't worth some, the pain. Yeah, at some point you just gotta throw in the towel and say, you know, you know what, I'm retired. So I retired from TF2, but I still kind of keep up with it and all. You okay up there? Yeah, just it was a little too fast. Yeah, you gotta be really careful going up this hill. Whoa, what was that? Something. Hmm. Must have, like, I guess my wheel hit something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Jeez. Whoa, what is going on with my wheel? Man, alive. I think this is about to be something. Yeah, it is. Luckily, we have some good engine power here. You turn off your high beams. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. There we go. It's just whenever we drill close, it's annoying. Oh, I see what the trouble is. It's because you've been having a few little lag spikes, and so it uh, makes my steering wheel go all wingo wongo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm following right behind you and just trying to be really careful here. You know it's a steep enough hill when your engine brake doesn't slow you down. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, our cottage cheese, we only have like 40,000 pounds of it, so our trucks are handling it like champs. For the most part, anyway. I just gotta be careful and not hit your rear end. I'm just trying not to play games tonight. Yeah. Because you know what, too? I'm like so close to the back end of your truck, and it's kind of like I'm thinking of how I was trying to pass Charles Leclerc uh, <laughs> at Spain, because I was right on his back uh, section before he came to pit road, and uh, I had to be really careful because if I had hit him, that was gonna damage my front wing. So I'm, I'm like, I'm like trying to avoid that. And that's and that's Charles Leclerc of Ferrari for those keeping score. Here we go. I also saw too, um, speaking of some other stuff, I saw the nominees for Best Animated Feature Film for the Oscars. It's kind of an interesting one. I kind of hope Luca wins. If I follow anything, it's Grammy. Uh, you follow the Grammys? Something. Yeah, the Grammys used to be used to be pretty cool. They used to award, you know, good people with their with the good music. Nowadays, they just they just award whatever they want. I know what is it like? Some of the small rooms that made it big. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
I mean, hell, it's kind of like the fact that this that, that this week, at the time of recording, will be Super Bowl Sunday, and the halftime show. Holy cow! They dug up, they dug up the dregs of life. <laughs> yeah. Or I should say, they dug up the Dre's of life because it's Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, oh my. and and some other uh, people as well. But it's, it's like it's always funny to see it though. Yeah, but you know what? If I was, I mean, I, I, I think the censor people should get a raise because you know there's going to be a slip. I mean, when you got all those rappers together and everything like that, and you know, if every other word's the F word or you know every other word, or they accidentally slip it, I mean, the censor people are going to have a fun time with that. And yeah, it's the Bengals versus the Rams. Of course, L.A. Rams. L.A.'s definitely got a lot of uh, got a lot of uh, clout right now because they had just wrapped up with the Clash race for NASCAR. It was won by Joey Logano. 177 miles to go, and my God, this this has uh, been a good hill. Too bad it had to be nighttime for us to see it. I think the last time we came here, it was sunset. Yes, it was, and when we got out of the canyon, or when we got out of the twisty turns... Mountain Pass. Uh, mountain Pass, yes. And we were fine. I think it was the sunrise. Yeah, because yeah. we were rocks and lava in the dark. We entered Barcelona the following day. Oops, yeah. You can probably turn your eyes on if you want. Okay. Turn them on now. Okay, that's not <coughs> too bad. Okay. I know it's just way easier to see in this game when you have them on. Yeah, it is because. There's long stretches of, of road that don't necessarily have um, that don't necessarily have lights. Let's turn the light show on. Okay. Yep. There's the disco ball. Is it really that bright? Oh. Should just be a straight road here in Stuttgart. Straight ish road. Yeah. Should be. Oh yeah, how about we how about we shift gears here, buddy? <laughs> Let's no say where'd you go? Yeah, I was stuck in like seven H. Okay, we got 128 miles to go now. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Okay. That's fine. It was an interesting day on the highway. There Ooh, was, tell us. So, there is a 10 axle truck, 5 on the tractor, 5 on the trailer, calling it a massive mm -hmm. excavator. Mm -hmm. Then there was an 8 axle, there's another 8 axle truck with a giant parts box on it. 
But mm. only in half while I did an S. Wow. That's normal. That's pretty normal for my area. I see. And it's practically rush hour. Hmm. There's no rush hour during the day, the road is rush hour. <laughs> And it's so bad because, um, Mr. Wimpy Truck decides I'm gonna get in the left hand lane and do 50 mile an hour up the hill. Mm hmm. So, and then it, that happened. Someone left too big a gap, of course. And oh, then dear. there was a gap for a mile because of the truck got over there. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah. If there is no fuel to burn, yeah, there's fuel to burn. Yeah, I think there's fuel too. Believe it or not, I'm gonna need some. Mm -hmm. I am too. Like I'm, yeah, like I'm now in a quarter of a tank of fuel, so. I'm about a third. Interesting. I'm like 40%. Okay. Well, now I'm catching back up to you, nice and easy. Yeah, it turned out good. Which, by the way, too, you know how you have your little disco ball here? Mm hmm You may want to try and recreate this, only less annoying, in ATS, <laughs> because I did a load from Bakersfield, California, to Kansas, mm -hmm. and there's a huge stretch somewhere when you get into Kansas where it's completely dark. Yeah. So we may, so like you may have to come with a truck that that has like some bright lights, not the flashers, but some lights. Probably what I'll do is I'll take one of my um pretty one of my trucks that I've done and mm -hmm. then use it. Like I might bring a freight liner that I can put some lights on. Okay. Keep it full at 110 miles an hour. It'd be okay. Yeah. For those that don't know what I mean by Kansas and stuff, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Kansas isn't even in the game. Well, it can be with the Coast to Coast mod. An there's a mod truck that. Sim. Yeah, there's a mod for American Truck Sim that gives you all 50 states. And it's improved over the years. Well, they it's the from, lower 48. Yeah. And it's improved over the years. But uh, the good news is you can find it pretty easily and install it pretty easily. Uh, the bad news is is that if you're one of those people that's a little tight on funds, you're gonna need all the DLC. Sadly, uh, but and, and that's map DLC. It doesn't matter if you have paint schemes or whatnot. Also, you're just also you're just pulling away from me, buddy. Yeah. I was almost hitting a hundred there, and I had to back out. Yeah, I did a 102 there, and I was like, I better back up before this goes south. Should be about 9.15. I don't know, it's 9.30. Hopefully fine. I'm 20 in the game. Almost there. Oh, we're just too far. If I'm not mistaken, it's the home of the world's largest car wash in the river. I think you're right. Here we are in uh, Stuttgart, or Stuttgart.
Let's see, is this a... Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, a tiny little journey, but that's fine, because sometimes tiny journeys can lead to some big stuff. Different. Different more interesting moves. I want to choose different my moves. You start back with me. There it is. So, I have medical equipment to water dam. Oh, medical equipment to Rotterdam. That sounds pretty good. We're going to be going through Strasbourg, over the route Metz, through Luxembourg, Brussels. Maybe we can hop over into the UK. Nice. Just give me a second to load back into the game, and then we'll grab the load and we'll grab some fuel. You already grabbed the load? No. Okay. No, it's 20 miles away. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I guess I'll follow you then. Not if I get stuck oh. first. Okay, nicely done. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> You're gonna need to give me a love tap. <laughs> sure thing. Where do you need it? No, I need it on that side. I have my gaming gear in like my parts boxes wedged between the pillar. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So I'm not Let's getting out that. regardless. Okay, got it. Oh, you. <laughs> <coughs> just, 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 just F7. I wonder if, I wonder if I'd be hooked from it. I don't know, buddy. Wait, it's not <laughs> from the point I hit it. It wasn't a collision. Zone. It was. Oh, wasn't? It, it was a collision zone, so I was able to push it out. Okay. All right. So now you're back in action. So now I'll just follow you again to go find the load. Mm. Ouch. The Stuttgart. Looks like where we're going, it will be something. Okay. Yep, so it's off we go. Ouch. Am I lagging? No, you're good. Perfect, this should go right across the world. Cool. Yeah, I think I see it now. Oh, after, oh yeah, this is the airport. Really? Oops. Sorry. No, that's partially my fault too. I've not. I didn't swing it wide enough at all. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think you made your point. None of us can drive. Is what we need to think about. Well, maybe. Well, I mean, I know I can drive Formula One. But to, but today I'm definitely not on uh, my on my A game in terms of driving. All right, let me pull up alongside. Then you can grab the load, and I will grab it after you. Cargo water. I want to get me some fuel. Okay. Some medical equipment to Rotterdam. Oh, 
I, I see where it's gonna be. That's eleven thousand pounds of it for forty-two thousand quid. I am getting fifty-three. Huh, nice. Okay, now it's time to learn how to get it in that stop. I think I know how to do it. Here, wait for me and I'll see. Um, I'm oh, you're way over there. You're in it to 164. 164 gallons? Per liter. Hmm. Yeah, I'm coming over there once I get hitched up to this trailer. Because, let's see, it's 462 miles, but I got 474 miles left in the tank, so definitely need fuel. Here it we is come. Six pounds twenty-four, twenty-one pence. Okay. I'll hide the oh. outlaw. Yeah. By the way, too, when we when we do do the coast to the coast to coast um, convoy, the gas prices in coast to coast are going to be very nice. Yo. Because I actually filled my truck up for about two dollars and thirteen cents in one of the areas. Okay. What'd you do? I glitched. Oh no. How'd you glitch? Barrier. No, I got stuck in the ground. Oh no. Alright, hang on. My truck wiggled itself out of it though. Okay, so you're free. I ran into the barrier and it didn't like me. Oh, great. But I'm okay, I'm still here. Cool. Well, now I'm sad. Let's hit the road. Mm-hmm. 460 miles to go. For this load. You know, at some point here, I'll be returning to streaming, which will be great. Because mm. I know I definitely will want to stream some Gran Turismo 7. Which, I'm getting the 25th Anniversary Edition. She's 25 years. Yeah, 25 years ago, the first ever Gran Turismo came out. Which is insane. Pretty good game status, that is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, with that, you get a million credits to start with, three cars, and also it has compatibility for the PS5. So that means if you still have the PS4, it'll work for that. If you want to use it on the PS5, you, you can. So it's actually compatible on both units. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only thing I'm very concerned about are the license tests. Because those can be very rage-inducing. <laughs> yeah, because, like, some of them are kind of fun. Like, you know, you may have to turn a corner or, you know, hug, hug the bottom of a track for a little bit in a car. And then there are some where you have to do these weird uh, moves Like you have to do a laugh in so many seconds. Yeah, which is okay as long as the track is fine. But sometimes there's some rage-inducing tracks, like the Neuschleife, uh, and a bunch of others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, it's pretty bad when that happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've seen so many streams and so many videos of people doing license challenges and just raging because mm -hmm. they're either that tiny second off, or they went one pixel over the grass, and uh, it failed them. I can see myself destroying my wheel. Yeah. They do have these little things called coffee breaks, which are kind of like little funny challenges you can do. They're, are there anything but coffee breaks? But hey, you know, it's a hard game when 
You gotta do the license challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's gonna be International A, International B, A, B, and S. S license is super license, meaning you can run on the bigger tracks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they've always had that system. It used to be an International C license, but I think they turned that into Super Speedway. Mm. Going around up on the bridge. Yep. That's right. Because now we'll have 400 miles left to go. 400 miles to go. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And so far, so good. We've only had a few little mishaps of you getting hung up. Yeah. It's called rookie mistakes. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. Not swinging wide enough. Mm hmm. Believe me, I've, I've had that trouble before because with the Scania T, it puts you in a false sense of how much you can, you can turn, especially with this chassis because, you know, this chassis can turn pretty easily. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of weird how that works. Well, almost into 10,000 miles on my, on my truck. This truck will put me at 19,000. Mm. Okay. But yeah, my truck is about to hit 10,000 miles now. Uh, let's see. Five miles away. Here it comes. And boom, there it is. 10,000 miles on this son of a gun. So it's kind of cool when you see those little milestones. Mm -hmm. You landed. Hmm? On the four lane highway. Oh, yes, the four lane highway. <clears throat> this is kind of a nice little area. And it's passed by Strasbourg. Yeah, Stras yeah, Strasbourg. As we continue our way up through Germany. I said the American way since I have Strasbourg. It's spelled differently, but I said it. I said it on the said. I'm probably never right. Yeah, there's different names that uh, are a little tricky to say. Because it can. It's like they can have the same spelling, but they can be. Different pronunciations. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now we're cooking. Beautiful. Yeah, and now we can just turn it up. Yep. And now the sun's coming out too. You must get fun. Mm-hmm. Well, I should say the sun is rising, which is great. I'm gonna do about 100, which the road will right. allow. Mm. I don't think it's going to. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think this is gonna be an 85 to 90 zone. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know what's funny is, is that when Microsoft Train Simulator first came out back in the 2000s, mm -hmm. you know, there's two modes that you could turn on. You could turn on no derailments, you can turn on actual derailments. And you could, and, and if you had derailments on, if you took a corner just a tiny bit too fast, you, can, you could actually see the train start to tip over and then fall over. Mm -hmm. And if it derailed at any point, you had to start all, all over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was definitely annoying. But 
and also at the same I'm time gonna, too. What's that? I'm gonna turn it up. Go ahead, yeah. All right. And at the same time too, the original Microsoft Train Simulator was also very moddable. There was just there was like a plethora, a, just a smorgasbord of mods you could you could put in there. With only half of them working. <laughs> yeah, because you know it's funny. Yeah, because you see the mods here in ATS and ATS two. You know they're already packaged together. All you have to do is just move them into the right folder or have Steam download them. Mm -hmm. Back in the day when it was Microsoft Train Simulator, um, they would give you the base, and then you and and then it would say in the README file, copy the cab folder from this engine, copy the sound folder from this engine, copy this from this, this from that, and all of a sudden it's like you're actually building the locomotive and you're hoping to God it was going to work. Which nine times out of ten, it wasn't gonna freaking work. So yeah. yeah. There was actually a few Thomas the Tank Engine assets with it, but um, they were they were not very well made. Yeah, sometimes people watch builds like that. Yes. Oh god, yes. The modding community is very notorious for that, including the Thomas the Tank Engine side of of trains, which is the other railroad sim. Because sometimes they rush it to the point where they forgot to animate the eyes, or they forgot to put something very important on there. And then sometimes there are actually people who put little Easter eggs uh, in those engines, uh, in the paint schemes or something that you may remember from watching the original stories. Or sometimes a little tribute to their, what's their model makers. They're not worth what you heard. Yeah. Like for example, uh, there's a Thomas model out there that I've that I've seen where it looks very realistic. When you go inside the cab and you turn around, there is a plaque that commemorates Reverend W. Audrey who wrote these stories. You know, that's not in the original Thomas model, but hey, nice little nice little tribute. Mm -hmm. So now we got two hundred and twenty seven miles to go. Passing through Luxembourg, I think this is the border right up there. I think you're absolutely right. Yep. Yep, here we are. Yep, Passing here we are. By the Pismo Beach and all the clams we can eat. The flame, my boy. Mm-hmm. You know, speaking of Pismo Beach and all the clams we can eat, I was on VR chat the other night and uh, I put on my Bugs Bunny skin and freaked out a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, I Bugs went. Bugs Bunny accent. Yeah, yeah, Doc. I was uh, putting on the uh, Bugs Bunny accent, <laughs> and it was pretty hilarious too because. They were expecting, I think they were expecting to hear like a squeaker or, you know, somebody with a deep voice or something mm -hmm. else. And then when I whipped out the, eh, what's cooking, Doc? They suddenly just, I just freaked out like, oh my gosh. Because, <laughs> see, that's the beauty of it. I think I explained it in the other yeah. video as you smack the They use rail. it as a, it's kind of an entertainment purpose that gets everyone laughing. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's like if you find a voice that you are comfortable doing and you can use it to entertain, that would be perfect. It's even better when you know almost every line or every single way to say stuff. Because if you only know the one line or two lines, you're not going to get very far. But my, but my golden rule is don't voice who you don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only voice who you do know. Because believe me, I made that mistake years ago. Oh, and they do have truck avatars in VR chat, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to have one where I was a big old Scania, trailer and all. The only problem was, was that it was just way too big for any of the maps. It was just way, way, way too big. Okay, I'm gonna hold a hundred up here. Okay, that's fine. 
Got 165 miles to go. I'm at 100 now. Alright, so good. Yeah. That sounds like somebody's a tired one. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I know it's. Yeah. For me, it's almost 7. I know I'm a little tired myself, but I think it's just because I've been delivering a lot of stuff all day. I think we're trying to do very decent hours. I'll probably do another shorter load. That's fine. I see a loop de loo coming up. Eat the luck one. Mm-hmm. Look out a little lazy there on my shifting. go now we're cooking so now we thanks yeah I'm just now catching up because we got 129 miles to go Go. Now I've caught up. Got a little corner here. Mhm. Mm nice going past all the sunflowers. I feel like this game is prettier than ATS. Yeah, it is, because the graphics are a little bit more updated, and, uh, you know, I'm sure it's because of the splendor that you see over here in, in the Europe countries. Because, I mean, they do get a lot more rain than we do. Yeah. I mean, hell, sometimes a rainy day for them is a gorgeous day. Mm -hmm. You're only up to the rain slipped here in the spring. Fall mm -hmm. starts coming down in the mountains. Now we're at the roof of this big street. Mm -hmm. The fog starts going across the lake beds and falling the streams. Mm -hmm. I normally go out after the rain and take pictures. Nice. Wowzers. I got lucky. You got very lucky there. Brush is like the city's on the right. Mm-hmm. That means Rotterdam, we are next actually. That's Probably. right. No, the, I think there's another big interchange. Yeah, I think there is too. I actually had to go through Rotterdam through uh, for one of my bigger deliveries. Ooh, I'm so right yeah, I'm seeing you just creep up on the speed, and you're like, and I'm like, Jesus, dude. I'm about lost. You tell me how you're pitching. <laughs> yep, the Kelly is too slow to get to. Mm-hmm. Buddy. Oh boy. Whoa, baby. Yikes. <laughs> Expertise coming out. Yeah. Or is it luck coming out? Ah, I did the uh, same exact thing you did. I am. I am being. What's the word? Being very trustworthy of these guardrails tonight. Yeah, they're not really safer walls. 
But in this game, they are supported for infinite amount of pounds. Yep. Totally realistic. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. It would be funny if they actually broke. Oof. Or now, Snow Runner, you hit something your... What is it, your guard? Your radiator caves in? Oof, yeah. I've done that a few times where I've gotten too rowdy in a butthole. I'm trying to deliver supplies. That's all that's interesting. Yep. Go to Chris Bridge, if you're right. There's Rotterdam. Yeah. Make, we made some really good progress, too. Yeah. Now we can slow her down just a bit as we come storming into Rotterdam. I actually have a garage here, too. It's actually one of my first garages I ever got. I think it was just nearby the trains or nearby the port. Yeah, you were so we close by. Yeah. So here we are, FedEx. Keep forgetting that I have to like shift all the way down and stuff. Alright, let's see, are we ghosting? Yes, you ghost. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Good load. 417 miles in the books. Sweet is too far. That's a little far. So where to for the final load? I don't know. I'm currently scheming. Scheming, eh? Let me see if I can find a load for us. Go to the freight market and see if there's anything good. So let's there's see. Let's... So many short loads. Yeah, let me see if one I got on my end. Okay, that's not short. Uh, we can take a load of chlorine to Manchester. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Do you want to take the chlorine to Manchester? Yeah, I mean, we're both going to the same place, Manchester. Yeah, so I got the load of... here. Mine's over here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll take... So yeah, so I'm taking chlorine and you're taking chlorine as well? The medical equipment again. Oh, okay. Boy, that's an interesting combination. Medical equipment and chlorine. I could also take a lengthy card for these. Hmm. Yeah, you could. They're, same. They're going to the same place. So. Okay. Well, let me grab my load and then we'll meet back up. Meet up on the way out of town. Mm hmm. Hello, chlorine trailer. It's just you and me. Is it ox trailer? No, um, it's a it's a tanker with supports. Mm -hmm. You'll see it when I when I come up behind you. It tells me to pass by where you're at. Okay. Yeah, so you should be coming up right behind me. Yeah, there you are. I see you in my mirror. But yeah, you see what kind of trailer I I, I was given. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, 
gotta be really careful with this and not and not out rev this thing. There we go. Okay, now we're cooking. Get the serve and call it. That's fine. Cause I'll maybe, probably call it too. Maybe we can cook it with the water. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Let's see what this guy does look like. Mm hmm. And you know what, too? I think it's kind of a good thing that I'm leading because since we're going into the United Kingdom with this load, I know how to get around there pretty easily. I'm the king of um, driving on the wrong side of the road. I know. All right, slow her down, slow her down, back her down, back her yeah. down, back her down, back her down. Because we're coming into the port. There we go. I always end up going slow in the ports, just just to be careful. Yeah, but now we can hop in and. The <laughs> you went the other. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> Holy, oh, okay. Wow. Same you missed it, buddy. <laughs> you missed it. We'll go to the one that's hull. Yeah, I was about to say hull was good. Yeah, but you missed it. I almost toppled over. We turned that into a race, I think. I think we kind of did. Now I just gotta swing this sucker around right there. Okay. I never know why they do that. All right, so let's continue forward. Because now we're in the area where I usually made my deliveries or back in the day. In fact, for the longest time, I only did deliveries up here in the United Kingdom. That was years ago. Before there was even any map DLC. When you had to truck 10 miles up and 10 miles down in the snow barefoot. <laughs> and since we're also on British roads, it's a little bit tricky to speed. But at least we've got 113 miles to go. So, the interesting thing about, uh, you know, seeing all the stuff that, uh, you know, has come out with ETS2 is that I've seen this go from just being bare bones to now being so, uh, you know, populated. Yeah. You know, it's really from neat the, how they, uh... From the version of ETS, now we're in ETS 2. Yep. ETS was and sort of a fail. Sort of, because you didn't know what to do. Like, um, here with ETS 2, it kind of made up for it, because nobody plays ETS 1. Slow her down, buddy, slow her down. Gotta be really careful because I got like 37,000 pounds of chlorine uh, on me. Yeah, I got only 11.5. Yeah, 15, so. 15,000 for this for the pressure. I'm getting 11,000 for this. Despite myself being heavier. Well, my oh, car goes fried, bro. Yeah. Mine's just, mine's just top heavy. This road is tricky. I hate any twisted two-lane road. I don't mind them. As long as they're in the daytime, we're cool. Mm -hmm. But when traveling with this in the nighttime, whew, it's a little daunting. This truck is taking this hill just fine. Mm -hmm. 
You have the 260 gift, right? Yes. But remember, you have way more horsepower than I do. I only have 845. Okay, I think I have the 810. So you definitely have more horsepower than me. So you can... 35 is the... that much. It's how yeah, much but you can make. Yeah, but you also have the, um... You also have the lighter load, so... For me, I got the heavy one. I also have a third drive. Does that makes any difference? You know, I don't know if that makes a, a difference or not. Because, that's right, I have... I have three turning axles, you have you have three driving axles. I know in real life it, it helps you if you can't keep one of your axles on the ground. Yep. Believe me, I've I've done quite a few heavy loads with this with this truck and the front turning axle is just up in the air. Mm -hmm. Slower down here because we're gonna be coming onto the freeway. Freeway more like flipping flipping way. <laughs> ah, crud. I got well, it. Take me to I got Sheffield. You. I got it. No. Oh, whoops. Oh, never Sorry. mind. I was about to come get you out. Sorry. Now, where is that? Yeah, in fact, let me see where it put me on the map because I know I'm in Sheffield. You're just. South of you. 75 miles, okay. Oh boy, I didn't think I was going that fast, but somehow I was. So is it going to take me back to the scene of the crime, or no? Mm -hmm. Well, let's find out. Okay, I don't remember this, this sharp part. It's yourself and me. Oh yeah, okay, so now you're ahead of me. Cause yeah, I got 70, 72 miles now left. I got 55. Yeah, so I'm like over 20 miles behind you. With a heavy load of chlorine that, uh... I think that's what happened is that the heavy load of chlorine just topped me, toppled me over. I don't know if this game has looked like you, but... If it did, then that's what just happened to me. And not only that, chlorine also helps with hazardous loads. So, this is a hazard load that I have. You don't ever want to inhale chlorine too much, because it will screw with you. I mean, you can smell it in a, in a swimming pool, that's fine, but if you smell it somewhere else, it's not good. Swimming okay, pool, my swimming pool is a creek. Mm. Yeah. 50 degree water year round. Wowzers. Feels good. That's Especially good. after a rain. There's normally oh, enough yeah. flow that you can care about three feet deep. Ooh, three feet, gotcha. As long as you have enough flow and you can keep it dammed up. Mm. And if you don't, you say damn it. <laughs> oh, my. I hear birds in the background. <laughs> Birds? Yeah. From when from which end? You or me? You. Oh well, that's my I think that's my fan. I got a fan that's behind me that's uh cooling down my room and uh it's squeaking. Mm. It's squeaking while it's oscillating. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Can't really, can't really WD-40 it because it's in a weird spot because you can't WD-40 it without it dripping into the motor. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. It's not like one of those oscillation fans, it's an upright fan, and so you kind of have to live with it or get a new uh -huh. fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit annoying. Alright, so I, I'm like at 26 miles left. 
Okay, I'm turning up the instance. Okay, so not too far away from you. Order to Manchester. Yeah. You're already there. I'm five miles now. Not home safe yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still 18 miles out myself. Yeah, because I see you. I finally you. see you on the map. Yeah, me too. I see you as well, so. Just trying not to get up uh, too far to 100 miles an hour. I want ITC this. I want ITC this roundabout for you, Detroit. Oh dear. Okay. No, Whoa. it's it's a tall one, so I don't feel like. Yeah. With a bunch of flying projectiles. Yeah. If you were, oh god, yeah. You do that, and all of a sudden, all the medical equipment comes out. Who knows if you got syringes in the back there? <laughs> yeah. Because then that means you would be playing lawn darts. <laughs> yeah, practically. So you just so you just delivered your load. Yep. All right, here I come. You'll see me come screaming in. Mm. Just gotta be really careful here as I come over the hill. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's that roundabout you were talking about. Yeah, this one you shouldn't uh, do with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, 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 because I think. I think that roundabout does have a force field around it. Maybe. I'm at 6.1 thousand kilometers per month. You're at 14. Yeah. That's oh, crazy. God. Oh, yeah, you were dropping off. Mm hmm. There we go. Did it. Hmm. <laughs> That is going to include Luke's recording. Thanks for watching. See you next time.